Okay, my honey. So today we are repotting this aloe vera plant that we have. We have our plant. We got some potting soil, and then we have some pots. Okay, so let's just get right into it. This dirt I got from Dollar Tree, guys. I hope ain't no worms or nothing. <laughs> Did y'all know the Dollar Tree got dirt though? For a dollar, okay? So I will not possibly use all of that dirt, but it it looks really good and it is nice and moisty, you know? And it's actually been sitting here on our desk, guys. It got rocks in it and everything. It's been sitting here on our desk for a while, so it's just hanging in there. We're going to get our hair together, our nails together, our skin together, everything, okay? And we're going to do this naturally and organically. Today, we are starting with the aloe, okay? Coming soon, we'll be making smoothies and all type of good recipes for health, okay? But, anywho, I'm going to take this out of this pot. So, this pot has the holes at the bottom, okay? Which is good because these plants do not need a lot of water they need a lot of sunlight see these don't have a, a exit hole these were a dollar as well but these don't have an exit hole so the water would typically just sit there at the bottom in the roots and then it would kill your plant because the plant does not require a lot of water it needs more sun now this is so dry and crunchy that is when you know that your plant needs water when you see and notice that it's crunchy and dry like that, then you will say, okay, let me put some water in it. Because I don't know a time, guys, where it's like, okay, give it a week or two and then water it. Because I have overwater aloe and kilt plants back to back. So I pretty much just let it sit in the sun and do its thing and didn't water it for maybe a month. And it was just growing beautifully. But y'all know, due to the house fire, I lost all my hard work. Um, aloe plant. So I'm starting over and we're starting over together. So I hope y'all got your plants because I did give y'all time to do that. If not though, you can always use this video as a reference. So all I'm doing is breaking that dust away from here. You don't want to um, kill the, this is all connected. This is the um, root. So we're going to get rid of the stuff around it. Not too much because it doesn't matter. You just want a nice, clear root. So when you go to bury it in the new soil, that it would um continue to grow. These roots are thirsty, you could tell. I don't know if you guys know anything about plants because I don't. I don't have a green thumb at all. But I know that plants are like our hair. Plants are like our skin. It gets thirsty and it gets crunchy. Look at that. <laughs> so... We're gonna peel off all of the old crunchies, that's for sure. You guys, if you have a fresh plant, you probably won't have this problem, but if you see any crunchies, you just get rid of that. Because like I said before, whenever you are leaving crunchies and dead um, ends on your hair, all of that applies the same. It is taking and sucking up energy on this crunchy, taking away from this goodness here, okay? We still got some good leaves here because they got that juice in there. So it's like these things here is just sucking up, you know, all the positive vibe from the good leaf. So we're going to just get rid of basically that. Now, this leaf has still got some goodness. It could potentially grow or another little baby one will grow off of it. So we don't have to basically tear that away. It's still white and it's still going. So we're just going to take away this brown, crunchy stuff from the tips. So growing aloe at home is better for access to immediate healing. Okay, so many good benefits to the aloe. I just found a rock. We may could use this rock to help stand it up. So I'm gonna keep that. Now I just filled the bottom of this um, pot up 
just the bottom rim of it with dirt, okay? I'm trying to feel like, how would I go about using this cup? Because when you put the water in there, it will drain through the plant and leak out of the bottom of here. That water, that plant is going to suck up everything that it needs before it actually, you know, leaves out of there. And then whatever it doesn't need, the excess is supposed to leak out of the bottom of the cup. So... With that being said, guys, you definitely um, don't want your plant just sitting in water that it doesn't need because it's going to be over um, hydrated and then the plant will die because it's already made of water pretty much. So I'm going to put, I put the whole dirt at the bottom and I'm going to sit this on top. Then I'll put our plant. That way when the water leaks out, it has somewhere for the water to go, okay? Notice that aloe vera's they like to be crowded. You know, they, this root is so long, it likes to be crowded and, you know, it doesn't like a lot of space. I only, I have three plants here that once they get good enough, I can repot them again and give them their own pot. But as of for right now, guys, I feel like I'm just gonna put all three of these together. Okay, so in that one little bucket, could I fit two buckets in here? Let me see. Could I smash that down in there? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I put two buckets in there. <laughs> so, we're gonna finesse this. Guy. I am just gonna feel around the size of these cups. Cause all of that will hold water. I'm just going to fill up around the inside of that, um, where the plant is. I'm going to give it a little dirt at the bottom of it. And then I'm going to just fill it on up. Then I'm going to fill up the whole pot at the end of the day just to disguise it and make it one. Now, since these, uh, plants have been sitting here, guys, they are a bit thirsty. So I am going to really get him a nice water at this point. I don't even care. Um, they need it. They have not had any water all summer since I had them. We're gonna pack the dirt in there so that the plant can stand up. You don't want that dirt in there too much, too heavy on it. Cause it does not live off of the dirt. It lives off of the hydrated soil. But we got one done, guys. That's that's pretty much done. We can lift this up, put some at the bottom, put that back in, and just start filling that pot up. Y'all see why I put all this newspaper around? Cause I knew it was about to get messy. Y'all leave me a comment and let me know where, where the heck is they getting this dirt from. Dirt probably ain't hard to come up with. I'm just probably overthinking it. But for the most part, um, where the heck would they get dirt from to sell for a dollar? Could I just go out in my backyard and get dirt? <laughs> my mother actually got me hip to this. Like, girl, you better go down there and get you some dirt and repop them plants. So now I'm learning to get a little green thumb, I guess. I'm just filling up the whole plant around these cups with soil. We finessing it. You're not even gonna know that it's two whole cups in there, but. It ain't nobody's business. I'm using as much dirt as I need. What is that? A spider web. Yeah, this soil is already pretty moist, guys. I feel like that plant would just suck up the moistness from this dirt at this point. So you don't even need to add that much water to start off with because it has so much moisture to it. I did a little bit of research on aloe, y'all, because I really was killing them plants bad. I will keep buying them too, because they only like three, four dollars. Keep buying them, trying my hardest. That's how you learn. You gotta mess up before you actually get it, I suppose. 
I may not be doing the whole demonstration right, but we get the point. The plant got everything it needs at this point. It has dirt, it's gonna have sunlight, and it will be watered. So, whether it's a right from or wrong, because there's a real science to potting, okay? <laughs> and I ain't that good. This plant was a little leany. So remember that rock I saved? I feel like I'm gonna go in and use that and just stick it on the side like that. Cause you do want them to stand up cute so when they start growing out, guys, they're gonna grow out standing up straight and beautiful. These plants tend to hang. I think that the reason that they hanging is because they are um, over watered. They're heavy. Okay, so they, they typically stand straight up. And that's how you want to pot them, just standing straight up. Boop, there we go. We're done with that, okay? We are done with that. I feel like that's more than enough um, for right now. We got to see how this go. I got some water that I put in this other pot. And I'm just, I'm really going to pour it over the plant. It's going to suck it up, guys, and then it's going to leak to the bottom. So it's not over water. Now, some people would just have put rocks. They would put rocks at the bottom of this thing here, fill it up with rocks first, and then start putting the soil. So that way, the water could just easily, simply go um, to the bottom of where the rocks are. But me, I took another route. I just went on ahead and um, kept those cups because it's going to leak out. I'm going to give these babies some water, guys. They have not had water. This is my initial, I'll call it. So after this point, after this section of it, I won't water these guys no more for a long time. Probably a couple months. I'm going to keep them in the window. That's about it. And let that sun hit them. The dirt kind of fell down through, so I'm just refilling those areas. You know what? That's why I kept this dirt. Because this is pretty. You see what I'm saying? This is how they sell it. This is how the display look. This is more pretty than the other stuff. I would just sit this around the top. And these little things in here, hold on, man. Uh, that's styrofoam that they put in there. That sucks up water, too. So they put that in there to really suck up water. But I like it for decoration. It just makes it look like it's some plant food going on. And it ain't. <laughs> it ain't. That's just for display for them. So when you really want to get cute with it, you have to go buy your own. Plant food, that stuff be like plant food. I don't really want no dirt um, in the middle of my plant. At all, because then when they start growing up, but guess what, when they grow up, guys, they grow up through that dirt. Okay, ain't no dirt stopping them. And I am just gonna sit here and cherish this little baby guy. Aloe vera is one of the best plants to keep around your house, okay? It has really good um, oxygen release from it as well, guys, to help you through the night when you had those times where you're snoring. Keep your aloe vera plant next to your bed and that it will release oxygen and then you will have a smooth snore and not that dry <laughs> snore. <laughs> it is loaded with antioxidant and antibacterial agents. This thing will prevent cancer, okay? Prevent a bacterial buildup. But the latex in these plants, which are these leaves, these leaves, remember I said before, these plants got its own defense mechanism, okay? And these leaves are not for us. These leaves uh, can cause cancer, okay? Especially if you eat on them, okay? So the latex leaf of the um, aloe vera, which is this, can be dangerous if took it orally and cause cramps and diarrhea and make some of the meds that you may be taking. 
it makes them not effective, okay? And if you consume it over time, it could lead to kidney damage. So this this lace, this uh, leaf here, no, it's latex, and it's not good for us. So we can absolutely that part. It reduces dental plaque, okay? So that means if you basically use it as a mouthwash, okay? Now you probably wouldn't want to take the, the whole little yucky stuff and swish it in your mouth, but at the end of the day, um, you can mix it with something or however you you know would choose to do. You just split this open, get that gel out, okay? I'll leave the link to the last video of just basically how you'll get that gel out. It reduces constipation, so it has some type of laxative property in it that may help reduce the constipation or whatever, so that goes again to, to get it out of here, okay? Get all that juiciness out of there and use it. It can lower blood sugar. So for my diabetics out there, um, it's really good for you if you was to take uh, two tablespoons of aloe um, daily for at least about two weeks, okay? Um, for a person with type 2 diabetes, it would definitely help to lower the blood sugar levels. And this is natural, okay? It improves skins and reduces wrinkles. And it does that by increasing collagen production. So I told y'all that collagen is what keeps our skin young, okay? We produce that on our own, but as we get older, it's not really much production of it happening, so we start getting wrinkles. If you actually just rub it on your skin, you know, daily here and there type of thing is conditioning your skin and it's keeping that thing smooth and it's just loaded with tons of vitamin a vitamin c you got um some anti-inflammatory um agents in it which definitely um will help for like skin burn and stuff like that if you rubbed it across a skin burn or whatever it would um help clear that up and lessen some of the symptoms that you're having because that could be very painful. Helping to treat acne and dry skin as well. So it's like a moisturization. We already put this on our hair, guys, so it moisturized our hair to the fullest, okay? We know that. So let us go on and throw it off on that skin. What do you think we're going to get? Moisturization. No more dry, flaky skin, actually. It promotes hair growth. Okay, by repairing dead skin cells on the scalp. So all that dandruff, crunchy stuff on your scalp, this will moisturize it and keep it conditioned and you wouldn't even have to let that bother you, okay? It's gonna prevent itch, itching of the scalp. It's gonna reduce that dandruff and it's just gonna have your hair all out with a shine to it and feeling conditioned and I am a witness of that, I actually do agree. Locking in those nutrients, guys. That's what we look for. Things that are going to lock in the nutrients. Now, I know y'all guys already know, when you wash your hair with the shampoo, boom, that's one thing. But once you go to rinse it out and put the conditioner, and then you rinse in that conditioner out, you will rinse it with uh, lukewarm to cold water. For some reason, that clothes up the shaft of the hair and locks in nutrients okay so whatever you're getting out of that shampoo out of the aloe is gonna lock it in and that way your hair is just eating okay that's what we mean when we say eating because it's locked and it's loaded okay so there you have it for the aloe vera guys if you have not got your plant already go ahead and um use the link below i put it i will put a link um to the aloe vera plant and it's all through amazon okay so basically guys if you have not known or heard i have signed up with the um amazon affiliate program so a lot of the products that i will be linking and everything will come from there so if you guys want to support me you know, just check out some of those products. I always leave something below every video of whatever I'm talking about in the video. I'm still working on that and figuring that out too as well, guys, because I feel like I could kind of make a store, like my own Amazon store, to where when you go click on my Amazon um, website, I would have like my own Amazon website. I'm, I'm assuming it's, I gotta go do a little more research, but once you click on there, I will already have a list of things that you can choose from and purchase 
pertaining to what we always talk about. You can repot your plants. You see that it's easy. I do not have a green thumb. I got blue hands, okay? So this is pretty much going to keep this plant nice and strong, and it's going to grow nice winter time. So I'm going to leave it in the window, okay, where it's extra sunny at. That's where you would leave this. And if when the summertime came back around, that's why I bought this during the summer, so I could just let it sit outside, because when I did it last year, my plant grew tremendously. I had two, three leaves, and I looked up, I had little baby ones coming out the dirt. Like, it was growing something so serious, just sitting outside in the sun. But now it's winter time, so let's say that I had it sitting out in the sun all summer. Um, you would bring it in the house um, when it starts to get frosty outside. So probably here in October, around the time that it starts to get frosty and you see frost on stuff is when you would bring these babies in. But some of you honeys ain't even got to worry about that because it don't get cold where you're at. And it's like, ugh, why can't I be with you guys right now? But anywho, it's definitely getting cold here in Cleveland, Ohio, but we ain't going to let that boil us or whatever. We got a nice house that we're going to be sitting in, watering plants and whatnot. And when I go in to water it, I'm going to touch that soil. Okay, if my finger dent goes in there and stays and it sticks down like that, it's moisture. It doesn't need any more water. But if it's hard and crunchy and you can't even make a fingerprint in it and it's dry, you just know how dry dirt looks, okay? That's when you know, okay, it's time. This plant is thirsty. It's not getting anything from the moistened dirt anymore. The dirt is dried out, so it's not eating. But as long as that dirt is moist and honey and you can stick that finger in there and see little water on your hand and all that, you're good. You don't need to go ahead and water it at all. So, at this point in the video, <laughs> okay, guys, this is pretty different for us because I don't have my face in there. This is all based on my aloe. I'm really in love with this plant. You can't tell me nothing. And um, we're going to see how this go, and we're going to do updates and all type of stuff. But, yes, this is more so focused on this aloe plant. And I just wanted y'all to see my creation, my work, okay? I just did that. Did I or did I not just do that, though? Like, easy peasy, okay? So, I am not the one to do this type of thing, okay? But I did it. So, now it's time to just see it and grow it and be like, okay, girl, you got this. So, until then, honey... I will catch y'all up on this, but like I said, if you have not already, just go ahead, please like, comment, share, and subscribe because, you know, over here in Kells Nation, honey, we don't do nothing but hit them facts, okay? We don't do nothing but hit them facts, and we, we stay on point, okay? We don't sit here and be extra and do all the extras. Now, I get a little extra because I talk too much, but I ain't doing nothing but spitting these facts, okay? So, with that being said, <laughs> I will see you guys. On the next one, <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys.